what advice do you have for, lo- for young lesbians coming into the world and finding themselves and trying to find their place? I, honestly, you know, be as lesbian as you can be. <laughs> I mean, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, I just, I find, I think that being gay is a gift. Because I, I really do. It's like, and I think that what I look at it as, or being a part of the queer community, as I like to say, that we are a little bit, we have to be stronger because we have a heavier cross to bear. So our backs aren't built like everybody else. They got a little few more muscles in them motherfuckers because, <laughs> you know, you, we're walking through the world in a way that's, a, uh, that's just different. So I think the thing that happened was I don't know how to be anything other than myself. And I just also am just too lazy to pretend to be <laughs> something other than myself. And I know I'm a certain kind of, I'm what, I don't know what somebody may call, a masculine presenting, I don't fucking know, stud, like, <laughs> dominant, I don't, I don't, whatever. <laughs> right? Uh, but I love that about myself. I'm like, oh, that's who I am, that's how I get down, that's how I feel comfortable. But, and there's something interesting, because um, I can't say why, but I was having a conversation with Vanessa Williams, uh, <laughs> and she was just at the U.S open, right? And she gets to sit in the president's box. And there's a thing I didn't know, because I did, I saw, I went to Wimbledon, I saw Serena, it was cool, whatever, but she's in the president's box. I wasn't in the president's box. And she said, if you are a woman, you cannot sit in that box unless you're wearing a skirt or a dress. And I was like, well, if I ever go to US Open and I'm invited to sit in the president's box, I tell you what, I'm gonna be the first bitch to be in there <laughs> with some motherfucking pants on. But I say that to say, there are still spaces, there are still spaces in this world in which I am told to act accordingly. And I, I just refuse. I'm gonna wear a fucking rainbow cape to the motherfucking Met. <laughs> That's a, that's a big, mind, mind you, Issa and I were there for the first time. It was so funny. Like, first, it was so many black people. It was like, oh, this is fucking lit. The Met was like, what did we do? <laughs> oh, yeah. Anne Hathaway was like, oh, y'all are in this bitch. I was like, yes, we is, bitch. <laughs> we here. Um, I know y'all probably saw the pictures and shit. We got very excited. But I was like, because I also have a thing, man. It, like, to me, a microphone is more powerful than a grenade. Because I can have the ability to lift you up, to speak to your soul, you know what I'm saying? Like, and so, obviously on the Met, like, I don't have a mic, I'm, it's about, okay, this is, these are the people we're gonna show you. So, okay, I'm gonna take this moment to, to bring others with me. To say, when you are weak, I got you, you can lean on me. I'm gonna stand here for you. We all up in this motherfucker. You know, I'm gonna wear a suit to the Emmys. I'm gonna shout out the community. You know, if I'm going uh, black girls rock, you know, I'm gonna talk about getting free and saying that gay black girls rock too. Like, I, 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 won't, I won't ever waste an opportunity to speak truth to power. And I think that when you walk out the door and you are yourself authentically, that's a revolutionary act. <laughs> 